You know, I think I always wanted to do good things on the land. I think it's always been there. It just never was uh, brought out. It never was encouraged. There wasn't a school on ranching. There wasn't a school on land ethics. There wasn't a school on, on plants for me. Everything was based off of production, how to run more cattle, how to run bigger cattle, how to make cattle bigger, how to get more dollars. So then I come down here and we start this process of double stocking and we annual burn and it, it's a pretty slick system and it works pretty well. So I read this book called The Sand County Almanac by a guy by the name of Aldo Leopold. He said, when you view land as a commodity, you own it and you can do whatever you want with it. But when you view land as a community, you belong within the community, you belong to the community. Right then is when I started to make the switch. I understood, I started understanding why I wanted to do the things I wanted to do. I see things a, a little bit different now in that my, my true wealth is in the community. It's in the, the quality of air, it's in the quality of water, it's in the, the microbial life, it's in the soil, uh, it's in the health of the plants, it's in my family. I enjoy the double stock, but maybe there's a little bit different system out there of, of how we go about managing the grass for the double stock cattle. The one system that kind of appealed to me was this system called the patch burn grazing. When I, when I first read about and heard about patch burn grazing, I wasn't too, I wasn't too thrilled about it, but it looked kind of interesting to me. And of course, Oklahoma State did a lot of research on it. K-State did a lot of research on it. And they said that there would be no significant difference in the cattle performance. You could still double stock the country. You could still burn the country, just burn it a little bit different. But I really didn't trust them until I started doing it myself and I went through the system several times. So in patch burn, you only want to burn one third of your pasture. That means two thirds can't burn. So for six years, I owned all the cattle. I owned the cattle on the annual burn, double stock, and I owned all the cattle on the patch burn. All the cattle, I weighed them in, weighed them out. No significant difference in the performance. So, now comes the grassland birds and everything else that's associated the ecological side of, of the prairie and how they view burning every acre. And if you're a grassland birds, which most of them used last year's thatch and grass to build nests with, if you've got a really good burner like me that can burn every acre every year, there just absolutely isn't no place to build a nest the following year. And so these birds are just true indicators of what's going on, along with a lot of other insects and bugs and reptiles and lizards and all of this stuff. And so about seven years ago, we started doing a breeding bird survey here with Kansas Wildlife and Parks. And a good friend of mine, uh, Ed Miller, uh, started this breeding bird survey. I think I met Bill Sproul 11 years ago at a Tallgrass Legacy Alliance meeting uh, up in the Flint Hills. And uh, Bill has a way of asking all lots of questions and wondering what I'm doing. And one thing I told him about is I do a breeding bird survey, uh, which is a national survey that keeps track of birds. And the interesting thing that we found is the grassland birds here, the eastern meadowlark in particular, and the northern bobwhite, which are species that nationally have been on a downward trend for the last 40 years. We found here they're actually increasing in number in the last nine years. Everything's connected out there, and how important it is to have a healthy, a healthy community out there for all of them, because the healthier it is for all of them, the healthier it is for me. The cornerstone of our ranch is conservation and, and sustainability is really important to me. We, we take the pasture as our home. If the pasture is healthy, that makes us wealthy. It is a, a ecosystem that we enjoy and I hope it's here forever. Bill's teaching us way more than we're teaching him while he's at it. Everything is just better because of of these, of these plants and all of the insects and all of the birds and the whole, 
every wildlife that goes with it and, and along with me going with it. It's just, it's just a better place to be. I love the prairie.